Hey everyone, Santino Guy here, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we had a little visit to the mines, and yeah, that's kind of all I remember. To be quite honest, I ooh, Clint, Clint here. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores, you find you'll need a furnace. Just so happens, I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. I want you to have them. Da na na na. You got blueprints for furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you have smithed a few copper bars, consider <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me. Consider having my upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Why, thank you, Clint. I am sure to take advantage of the furnace quite a lot. So let's take a look at it real quick. Furnace. I need 20 copper ore and 25 stone. I have about 7 copper and 24 stone, so I can't really do anything with it. But back to what I was saying, um, yeah, I have kind of not been touching this game quite a lot. It's not that I haven't lost interest, it's because my feelings towards a game that's been done over and over like so many times, it kind of gets the best of my feelings towards the, a game franchise I love. A great example can be Pokemon. That franchise, I still, I still love, I still adore it, but not as much as I used to. But, it's kind of been done so many times where I'm just like, do I really want to continue uh, playing Pokemon? Like, do I want to do like any more after I'm done with Legacy and um, Pokemon Vanguard? Yes, I uh, am doing two separate Pokemon Let's Plays. I'm not doing... Uh, no, not that one. That's, that's, not, that's not what I'm thinking of. Um... I think so far I'm just going to do just those two um, Pokemon Let's Plays, then I'll see where I want to go. By the way, the other one, of course, being Pokemon you know, Legacy. I've been doing quite a bit of process on that video, but it just kind of comes to my conclusion that it's RPGs that are just my biggest problem. I'm not having as much fun as I'm used to with RPGs. I love RPGs, don't get me wrong. But when you're just like, let's playing a constant amount of RPGs, it just kind of, like I feel like I'm kind of like getting like overwhelmed with RPGs. Again, I am not saying RPGs are bad. I'm just like, it's just how it's like, there's just so much. Anyway, now that we're done with all that farming, let's go ahead and do our usual foraging. There's not seem to be anything of interest. Okay, I don't need to worry about presents for Haley. Um, yes, I am choosing Haley as my wife because she has the big knockers. <laughs> oh. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Towns Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. 
Just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folks who are sit in front of the TV then engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Jojo Co Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn into a warehouse. Palka Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah well. If anyone else buys a jo Jojo Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. this. I guess Vincent and Jess must be been playing in here. This place is even more... I don't know what that word is. Did not remember. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. <laughs> you are worrying me, Santendo guy. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch the rats if you have some extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. And I believe you're, yep, you're kind of kicked back out just for me to go back in just to kind of go off and explore. I don't really know much about, um, what this place is. I know only, like, bits of it, like this right here. Sadly, there's not much for me to do. I guess we'll just have to, um, come back in here another time. Oh, I thought there'd be, like, a little trash can right there. See, my comeback is zero, my fishing is one, forging is one, farming is one. Oh, that's right, the last episode, I, I, um, I unlocked the Scarecrow, but... Do I, I don't think I have the Yeah, I don't really have the materials right now. Plus, I think it's kind of like, not really any point for me to, um... Go off and build a Scarecrow just yet. I do eventually want to, though. I kind of wanted to just go into the mine mining area. Okay, apparently I got some achievement. Which one's my achievement button? Oh, there we go. Forging ahead. If you're going to keep mining, you should build a furnace. Reach level 5 in the mine. Okay, so we got some new objectives right there, then. Well, we have our broken sword, and our... Ooh, another forging item. I guess we'll just go into the mines, then, today. I think that's all I'm going to kind of do for this episode, just go in the mines. Plus, it is also very important for me to, um... Try to find um, some copper ore and some stone. I 
I kind of like it how there's, um, no music. It, it feels quite peaceful. In a weird way. Just no music. Just hearing the howling of the wind. I got a copper ore, at least. Come on, where's the ladder? Ah, there it is. Each time you find the ladder, you can go down to the next level. Ah, there's the music. Ooh, I think that's, um... Alright, there we got a slime. Face my blade slime! Oh wow, the slime leads me to a... Huh, up to floor three. Yeah, there's slime and there's something else down here. Ugh, got monster guts. Nasty. Well, as long as I have room to get copper ore, that's all I can really care about. Ooh, we got three right there. Is always very important. And by the way, with your sword, you can actually have to break these up little things. Sometimes you might get a little extra items. Ooh, those are actually very important items. me to another pack of stairs. Um, there's one enemy you should be, um, very careful with. Um, it's a type of very dangerous enemy for, like, early game. It's like a, kind of like a bee-ish kind of enemy. Oh, wow, 14 damage from that slime. Ow. Ah. Uh. Curious what that little. You know what? Do this. I'll throw away the slime stuff. I should really think about investing into, um. Oh, sap. I should really think about investing into, um, increasing my. Um, backpack. I'm having, like. There's, like, little. I have, like, constant storage issues. And we have reached the fifth floor with more slimes. Oh crap, I think I'm... I think that was poison right there. So now that we reached the fifth floor, we have access to this place. This thing. Right here we have an elevator. This will take you to not every floor, but every like five floors you'll find an elevate an elevator, excuse me. Wow, there's a lot of these enemies down here. You're gonna die to that boy! You're gonna pay it! We got two sap, I'm not interested.
Oh. That's actually kind of a useful item. <sighs> Problem is, it's just storage. No, I don't want to throw that way. Ah, uh, fine. Uh, there's nothing else for me to further explore, so... It's only like 5.50, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to the first floor. By first floor, I mean floor zero. See, look. Every five floors, we get we can just go back to the previous floor. Fifth floor, excuse me. Let's see. $260. I don't have... Why enough? Reach level 40 in the mines. Proven adventures only. So I guess I'm going to you know, level up my character if I want to get him up there in levels. But it has to kind of... Who are you, ma'am? I have a gift. Okay, so she's too busy right now. That's fine. I'm not sad. I'm not hurt. Nobody loves me. Why does nobody love me? Oh, I see something good. Let's see, get my hoe out. We got a lost book. You found a lost book. The library collection has expanded. We have a library in this place? I don't remember ever having a library. And some more foraging items. Sadly, no flower. Especially the one that, um, Haley likes. Wait, going back up again. Okay, yep, nothing of interest. Hmm. Don't really have any reason to expand my town. Oh! Because that's kind of close to night. Uh, monsters are starting to um, appear out. Like zombies and bats. I think that's like a bat wing. Now for this guy. Get in the back. Ooh, fiber. Uh, where are you? You are definitely important for something. I'll just go ahead and throw in my rocks. The coal, because coal is going to be very important. Throw my copper, which I... I think I have just enough to make, like, one furnace. Oh, that's right. I kind of just named my farm after the angry video game nerd. Kind of forgot about that. Okay, yep, I have just enough to make a furnace. Go into crafting. And voila. I now... Have a furnace. The first is Bant. It's in my way. You, Sir Bant, can go to heck. Die already. Die. You, Sir, go. Go away. I'm being chased by the bat. Die, you Count Dracula child. That's what I thought. For now, I'm just going to place my thing right here. We got a bat wing. I think memory serves. I believe I was holding this for like 
in case of important items. Just finding leaks. I got 120 G. I mean gold, excuse me. The Batwing actually gives me a little decent. Not much, but it's decent. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode. So, next time on Stardew Valley, we're going to be doing something. I definitely do need to save up my gold, though. Anyway, if you all enjoyed today's episode... Please share, like, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you all for the next episode. Have a nice day.